Well, grace is amazing. I got some definitions of grace. Grace is the free and unloving influ- free and loving influence of a holy God operating sovereignly in the lives of undeserving sinners. Grace is unconditional acceptance given to an undeserving sinner by an unobligated giver. That's my favorite definition of grace of all times, right there. Grace is, an, is unconditional acceptance. God accepting us, right? Given to an undeserving sinner. Let me tell you, that's us. That's me, that's you. We are not deserving of God's love, mercy, or salvation at all, are we? Given to an undeserving sinner by an unobligated giver. God was unobligated. He did not owe us anything. He did not owe us love. He did not owe us forgiveness. He did not owe us salvation. God never owes us anything. He is a debtor to no man. What motivated God to send his son? Love. Love that was in his heart, for God is love. Grace and mercy that's in his character. That's what motivated him to save our souls and to be kind and gracious to us. Grace is not just saying prayer at mealtime. Who wants to say grace? But grace is a way of thinking and a way of living. It's ultimately grace is a way of life. And I believe that we have victory through grace. What do I mean by grace? Well, we understand grace to salvation, but grace is for daily living. Grace is more than that which brings us salvation, for we are saved by grace through faith. Grace is also the power and strength of the Holy Spirit. And that's really what I want to minister on today is that there is victory through God's grace, God's power, God's strength, God's loving influence of his Holy Spirit in our life. Grace is the power of the Holy Spirit working freely in the believer to will and to do God's pleasure. It is grace that empowers you to love God's laws, to delight in God's will, and to overcome sin. So when you say, man, pastor, I need grace, what you're saying is I need God's favor, his strength, his power at work in my life. And so the first area I want to look at today is that God can give you grace in your personal growth. We're all called to grow, right? The Bible says grow in grace and in the knowledge of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10, Paul's writing, and he says this, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was in me. And so Paul's talking about how God's grace was there. The grace of God was laboring and working in him. But he also says, but I labored. See, that's the partnership. Partnership. If you want miracles and victory, Almost always, there's God's role and part to play, but there's also a response of our heart in the area of obedience or diligence or faithfulness, all right? Now, there's three things you need to say out of this verse. Number one, by the grace of God, I am not what I used to be. Now, how many of you can say that? By the grace of God, I'm not what I used to be? Listen, I know what I was before I met Jesus, Right, And if you were like me, I know what you were before you met, met Jesus. You were a sinner. You were a mess. You had blown it. You had made a mess of your life. That's why you're here today, because you blew it. You were a mess. You couldn't do it. You needed somebody to help you, somebody to save you, somebody to forgive you, and his name is Jesus, right? And I hope that every single one of us can say this, by the grace of God, I'm not what I used to be. But the second thing we need to say is this, by the grace of God, I am what I am. And that's not a a statement of pride, but a statement of humility. If you, if you look at yourself and you see any virtue, if you see any holiness, if you see any victory, if you see any godliness, if you see any fruit of the Spirit, if you see a changed life, what you're saying is, I am what I am by the grace of God. I know that the changes that have been made in my life for good was not me just turning over a new leaf and trying harder and making it happen. I know that it was the grace of God. Uh, to God be the glory. I am not glorying in my flesh, glorying in my abilities, my strength, my, my perseverance, my endurance, my, my, my uh, diligence. I'm not glorying in that at all. But I say to God be the glory. If there's anything in me that's of any praise and virtue, I give the glory to Almighty God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. 